So these are the little boxes. I actually made more, but these are the three of my favorite. I'll show you, I'm gonna show what's inside. So it's a really small, but it's one of these and it holds the Andes mints. And it's really cute. It would make a really cute um, party favor. But I'm gonna show you the template and I don't want you to freak out, okay? <laughs> because I did not, I didn't watch a video or anything on this and I just found a template on Pinterest and I, that's how I created it. It didn't show you how to do the slider, it just showed you the inside of the box. So this one um, is the same and so it fits five of the Andes mints in there, but it didn't show you how to do the slider or anything, but it looks so confusing, but it's really easy. I'm gonna probably post the, I'll post the template on my Facebook and my blog, because if you don't have the template, it might look really confusing. When you see it, you're gonna really think, I'm like, they're gonna probably freak out, but <laughs> it's such a cute box. I really wanted to share it. So this is the template. So look at all the score marks, but I mean, you're gonna cut all this yellow is gonna be cut away. And then you're, and it's go, once you have that cut away and everything, everything goes together so easy. I'm gonna do two for you so you can see how I do it. And um, I'm just gonna do, Two different ones and um, you'll see how I do it and then when I show you the second time it may get a little bit easier yeah it would be really cute for like a little party favor or even just you know I used to make stuff like this for my co-workers and I'd bring them for different holidays or even just one of the girls she'd always do stuff for me she was Korean and she always cooked for me so I'd always bring her something a little treat or something and so stuff like that, it would be really cute for. Ah, thanks, Carol, that's so sweet. I love it and I guess that's why. So I'll, I'll post this, this is my template. Actually, the one I saw was not is, I mean, this is a little messy, but the other one was not any better. So <laughs> this one's a little bit clearer. So I'm going to show you, you are going to need, you're gonna need a whole eight and a half by 11. So the first one I'm going to do is going to be like a little baby favor box. I'm going to use the Witty Sisms um, stamp set. So it is, I'm going to use these three. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use this welcome little one. So I'm going to do that with the Bermuda Bay. And that's, this is the strawberry. I love that strawberry. And um, it's so cute. And then I'm going to use the Label Me Bold in this one for the other one. And I'm using the Magnolia Blooms, but I'm using this little Magnolia. And I love this one. This one I even liked better than our other um, Magnolia. We still have it, the one with the big one. The big one's a gorgeous flower, but I love this these little images. I guess because I use the little images more. And then these are the ornate border dies, and I showed you these already. And I'm using the smaller ones this time. I'm using, let me grab it. I'm using these two little ones right here. Just to put a little edge on it, I gotta grab one of my papers. My fan is blowing and it blew it right off. And then for the Magnolia one, I'm gonna use the stitch shapes for the square and then I'm using the regular square, layering squares for um, the baby one because it's a bigger image. So it took me a while to get this right, but um, it's really, really a lot easier now then. So when you're, when you're doing your cutting, this piece is gonna be seven and three quarters by eight, and I'll post this up on my blog. Hi, Sylvina. Hi, Judy. Um, I'll, I'll post the, the measurements in the video when I post it to YouTube. So it's seven and three quarters by eight. And then this piece is left over, but you have to cut this. And this piece is gonna be two and a quarter by seven and three eighths. And this one is for the outside, the slider part. All right, so let's go ahead and get scoring. <laughs> it looks very confusing, but it's not. So I always start on the seven 
and three quarters inch side and I brought my wax paper up because this is a big piece I've been using it a lot lately because <laughs> it really does help the situation <laughs> and we're doing a lot of score marks on here so it's going to be one half and then one and three eighths one and seven eighths two and three quarters four and a half now instead of keep on going i'm just going to turn it around and we're going to repeat the same thing we just did the one half one and three eighths, one and seven eighths, and two and three quarters, and four and a half. And we're going to do the same thing on the other one. We're going to score this on the eight inch side at one half, one and three eighths one and seven eighths, two and three quarters. And then we're just gonna flip it around again. And we're gonna do the same thing. One half, one and three eighths, one and seven eighths, and two and three quarters. And so when you're done scoring, this wider part right here, let me move this. This wider part right here will measure two and a half that way. So you'll have two and a half here, and then this is the smaller side, and this is one and a quarter. So you'll know you did it right if you have the one and a quarter and then the two and a half on, the, on this side. We're going to start, I mean, look at that. <laughs> When I first saw it, I thought, there's no way. I'm, it's going to be such a hassle, but it is not at all. It's really, really easy. Once you do it, you get the hang of it. It's really easy. I mean, I made those really quickly. All right, so here is one thing, and I'm probably going to mark this so you can see it. Let me see if I can mark it. So what I'm going to do here, this is the way that I have this. So I'm cutting up this middle part right here and then there's one little square right here and you're going to cut diagonal across that one and so that's that one right there and then you're going to just cut straight up and across that's the only tricky part on this one and we're going to do the same on this side you're going to do that one diagonal so i'm going to show you here so you're going to cut up here you're going to cross diagonal there hi jojo then you're going back up and then this you're cutting that whole area off and it's going to look like that you're going to make the other side look exactly the same so you're cutting up here across that little square that's the only little square right there so you can't miss it and then up here and then this all the way across and we're just going to do the exact same thing on the other side and this one has the little square right there so you're going to cut up to that square then you're going to cut across it and then up and just follow your score lines and then like that and we're going to do the same on this side Cross that way up and then that whole section I wish there was a better way not to have to use so much paper but see it's gonna look just like that see that all right now you're gonna be amazed how easy this goes together so you're gonna have to sharpen all your score marks I'm going to just mat it after, but can you see how easy, I mean how quick it could be if you're making a bunch, because once you get it scored and cut, 
Oh, th thanks, Mary. It's easy, though, Mary. And then, I mean, once you see someone do it, I didn't watch anybody do it, so I, I wasn't sure if I could even figure it out, but I'm stubborn enough. <laughs> and I'm sorry about how bad my nails look. I, of course, you know, all the nail places are closed, and I'm trying to figure out a way. I ordered a little nail kit, so I'm going to try to take the, this is a gel manicure, so not, not gel, it's the dipping powder. So if anybody knows how to get this off easy, put it in the comments, because <laughs> I really am ready for them to come off. All right, so I'm going to use wet glue and I'm going to use tear and tape. Now on these bigger ones, I'm going to use the tear and tape. So I'm going to put it on the edge and I'm putting it closer to the inside part here. Not, And then I'm going to use glue for the other part because this part's easy to get down. And you know how tear and tape is, it wants to stick really quick. All right, so these are going to just fold in like this. There's this little rectangle right here. You're going to match that up to that. So this is going to fold over like that. And then just put your fingers in there to get that down. And that's one side. Then we'll take this backing off here. Color Street Nail Wraps. Does it take it off, Jamie? I want it, I want them off. <laughs> They're really getting too long and it's bugging me. All right, so this one the same way. Gonna line that up. Make sure it's even with the other one. <laughs> I, I know person, I know the feeling. <laughs> Oh boy. All right, so now the on this part, because these these little rectangles here in the corner, we're just gonna put um, some wet glue there. And on this corner, and then we're gonna put it on this strip right here. I'm ready to cut my hair too. It's mine gets so wild because it's Naturally, naturally curly. All right, so this is all folding in just like the other side did, but it folds in really, really easy. Oops, I say that and then, so I'm gonna hold that for a minute because that's where we put the little bit of glue and I want those to stay down. All right, and then this one's the same way. You're going to put it on the inside here. And then that little flap, and that's the flap that's going to adhere to the bottom. So you have to fold it in and then fold that up. Look how easy, see? And then I, you have to hold it using the wet glue, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I know everybody's like, we had a, I had a meeting with some other demonstrators and we were all talking about what we were going to try to do about our nails and our hair and oh my goodness, it's crazy. All right, so here's our other piece and this one, I'm going to actually bring up my my scoring tool here. I'm just going to start it by oops, scoring at a half inch. This just gives me a starting point and then I'm just going to hand like wrap it around the box. This is the easiest way I found to do this. So I'm just going to start it there and then this is going to go around here like that and then I just start wrapping it. And you don't want to wrap it too tight because you want it to be able to slide. And then this will just fold over. 
So I just do it all with my hands like that, and then I'll just come back and it's easier than trying because some of these measurements are like, you know, could be like sixteenths. <laughs> I didn't really measure it, but um, I know sometimes when you do these wrap, you know, these sliders, they can be, okay, and make sure and these are scored on this side, so that's the way you want your wrap to go, this way. And I'm going to just add some glue on this little flap. And I'm going to just do it on the box because... And I don't do it real tight, I just do it right. I don't pull it tight, I just do it right to the edge there. And then it'll, it'll slide off and on. All right, I'm going to do one more so you can see again. Um, I'm going to mat these now. And the matting pieces, this is two and an eighth by two and three eighths. And then these two are two and an eighth by three quarter inch. And these are going to go on the sides. This is a brand new bottle and it's not wanting to come out. Just being particular. All right, I think I want to turn this around because I don't like the seam on the top. And there's. And of course, I'm using the Brights Collection 6x6 designer series paper because <laughs> I love the gingham. I can't get away from it. Although on those, I used some other patterns so you could see. And then this one. But I thought these would be like really cute, like wedding favors or baby shower favors. That's why I decided to pick the, the baby one. So let me grab my cardstock for, oh, I already cut, I already cut the pieces for this. So I need the bigger one. And then I'm going to use Memento Black because those were the only pieces except for the trim, which I already ran through. I love this little one too. I love the witty sisms. It's so cute. And I've been using the strawberry a lot, so I wanted to use something else. All right, so I'm going to color this. Yeah, it is. Let's see. I think I'm going to color. I'm doing the Bermuda Bay here. I think I'll use some of the dark too. I'm just coloring it like very simple. And then I think I'll use some of the dark on. These would be so easy to, to, I think I'll use some real red for the heart. Real easy to color too, if you wanna do a bunch. All right, so this one I'm going to use, where did it go? Hope it didn't blow it off like it blew my other stuff off. I'm gonna use a little trim on this one. And I don't see it, but I have a piece over here that I had from my other one, so I'm going to use that. And I'm just going to put it on the side, like right there, just to give it a little, to add a little bit to it, or I can do it on the bottom. I think I'll do it on the bottom. I love this little trim stuff. These borders, they're so cute. And I'm going to just trim it up. This is a little delicate one, so I thought it'd be cute for... It's got stitching. I'm trying to get the stitching to show. There we go.
I'm going to just trim that. And I'm going to use some dimensionals on it to pop it up. I think my other piece got um, blown away. It wasn't as warm today, but I think it was in the 70s today. I know my sister's on here and and Dot was on here, and she lives close. All right, put it on the top like that. Look how cute that, wouldn't that be a cute? Oh, I'm gonna put the little candies because I happen to have courtesy of um, my sweet dial, downline Jamie. I still have some of the candies that you gave me and I'm eating them while I'm sitting back here, which is not good. <laughs> but they fit pretty tightly in here but they fit nice I mean nice and snug Aw, thanks for the hearts I love this one I think it's so cute so look at that they fit in there just perfect and that's that one so let's do another one so you can see it again because I know it is a bit it looks harder right <laughs> Doesn't it look harder? So I'm using Rococo Rose for this one, and I'm going to do the Magnolia. And then I'm using this little trim on this one. So we're going to do it a little different. And then this is the other piece. So again, this is seven and three quarters by eight, and then this is seven and three eighths by two and a quarter. And then I'll, our little matting piece is here. All right, so let's get the scoring tool back up here that's all I've been doing Jamie I I'm, I got to stop eating while I'm, we're stuck home <laughs> I told my husband we walk every morning and he's he looks got on the scale and he looks at me and goes I'm not losing any weight I'm like that's because we're constantly eating <laughs> something but I hardly I'm not a huge chocolate person but that's all I've been like craving so when I'm back here working, Jamie, I'm eating that. <laughs> All right, this is the seven and three quarter inch side again. So we're gonna do it at one half. I almost know these by heart now. One and three eighths. One and seven eighths. Two and three quarters. And four and a half. I think my Stampin' Up! just came. So it's one half, one and three eighths, one and seven eighths, two and three quarters, and four and a half. <laughs> Jojo, it's not scary. That's what I said. I told, here's the, um, I'll show you, Jojo, if you came in late. Here is the, um, <laughs> I know it looks scary, but it's so easy. You need to try these because they're so cute. I really like this one. All right, so this side is the eight inch side and you're gonna score it at one half, one and three eighths, one and seven eighths, two and three quarters. And then we're gonna turn that one again do the same thing again. One half, one and three eighths, one and seven eighths, and two and three quarters. I mean, it looks it looks scary when you look at it like this, but really, it once you cut away the pieces, it goes together so easy. Oh, thanks, Jamie. All right, let's do this again. So remember to put the smaller side next to you because here's the two and a half inch side here. This is the one and a quarter inch side. And this is the side that has that one square there. It's three squares up. And so you're gonna cut up there across that diagonally, that little square, and then back up. And then you're gonna cut that piece all off. Same with this one. 
up those two across that diagonal and then up and then you're going to cut that one off too all right the same thing with this one it goes just have it facing you and then go up those two there across So the both ends are going to look the same, both sides. Okay, up those two, across diagonally. And that's it. That's how you cut it. So the rest of this is really easy. But always make sure that you use your bone folder and you crease these really good because it does help in getting the box together because they almost I mean all you have to do is like fold that over so it does make a difference I've never made one of these before when I saw the template I was like Ugh, I don't know if I can do it either but you can see it's pretty easy. All right, so let's get some tear and tape again. I'm gonna cut that end off. And again, I'm just using the tear and tape on these, the bigger side because you know the other ones you want it glued down those little corners so. so that's what I'm going to use the wet glue all right so let's do this one first so it's going to just fold in on itself like that and then again there's that diagonal there not diagonal there's that rectangle there these is going to match up here and then just put your fingers in get that one down do the same on this one i usually just line this edge with the edge here and then just fold it over Now these we're going to glue because we need to do these little diagonals here. Hi Marla. I'm so glad you're here. Marla was my first subscriber ever on my blog. And she's still hanging in with me. <laughs> All right, so that folds over, and then, of course, I'm going to hold those ends there so that they adhere down. And then this one's the same way. We're going to just put some little dots there. And this folds underneath. Watch you don't pull it, push it too far, like I just did. Oh, there we go. Then hold that down. I have missed everybody. I have not. I've only been in, on my um, business Facebook page. I have not been on Facebook all of Lent, so I'm. Um, excited to get back on and see what everybody's doing <laughs> all right so that's the bottom again i'm going to go ahead and just score a half inch here on the end i should do done that when i i'm just going to score it real quick with that so that it gives me that starting point um jojo i'll put them in the video when i post the video 
<clears throat> I'll put I'm gonna put the template on my Facebook page and on my blog all right this one goes this way and then I just hold it up like that and then just start folding these over and then I just go back and crease these just is easier all right so I'm gonna do it this way this time because I had it upside down before I'm just gonna put some adhesive on here you can use tear and tape or your wet glue for this probably try to post it next week on on uh, YouTube because this week I already did one for tomorrow is the one we did I think last week or the week before I'm a little bit behind I'm posting them all right so we're gonna decorate this with the of course gingham We're going to be getting new in colors too with the new catalog. I'm so excited for the new catalog. I can't wait. I'm just hoping everything works out with all this stuff going on that we're going to be able to get it and get all our stuff and pre order and all that. everything's really been going smoothly with stamping up the only um, issue that they've had is that the delivery time is a little bit longer and it's not much because i ordered it's only taken maybe one day longer they're really really doing such a good job all right so this one we're going to use the smaller one because we're going to stamp the magnolia on here and I'm going to use <laughs> I, I have no trick for that I that's the reason I didn't use wet glue for a long time because it's it always gets on my fingers but this one I'm stamping a little bit higher because we're going to use that other um, label me bold and we're going to do a little I'm going to stamp that one too. I forgot about that. I love this label me bold, even getting ink all over myself. I'm just going to cut this one out. Oop. We used to have a set similar like that a long time ago, and I really missed it. So I'm glad we have this one. All right. Let's cut this one out this is going to go on if there is a trick for that someone let me know <laughs> I don't think there is uh, all right so this one we're going to color a Rococo rose I know it's not a I don't think that's a magnolia color but we're making our own colors and I haven't used this in a while, this Rococo Rose. This is one of the newer, the newer in colors. I'm gonna do some darker too. And then we're just gonna use some Granny Apple Green for the leaves. I love my blends I could not do without these I'm I've ordered these when they first came out and I just now ran out of my first color ink and all of these are still working so they last a long time Isn't that pretty that's that really looks pretty I like that all right so we're gonna do the thank you on here 
I really like it in Rococo Rose. Put the thank you on there. I thought about popping it up, but I like it better flat. And then we're going to use that other. Oh, guess what? I found the other trim. It's this one. I used the little one last time, but I'm going to use the big one this time. And if you line this up on your paper like I didn't do, it'll be really straight. I did it the first time I did it. Um, I lined it right up to the edge and I used some purple tape to stick it on there and it, it uh, left a really nice oh no problem Bonnie it left a really nice um, edge to be able to glue alright so that's that one and then we're going to pop this one up too these are so fun. I'm really enjoying these. Is it everybody's fine? Jojo, you had a problem last time too with the shaking or something. I don't know. Um, you can refresh it and see if it it stops. I'll post the video when I'm done here on Facebook so you can watch it. All right, so that one's gonna go like that. Oh, I like the Rococo Rose one too. So then I don't have any more to put in here, but you saw, you saw the other ones in here get this one out with the candy in there because I'm afraid I ate the rest of them <laughs> sorry ah thank you yes these are the new ornate this is the new ornate um, these are the border dies but they have the other ones this one I kind of did sideways but this one I put the I love this little border so those are the aren't they cute I thought they were really cute all right everyone I hope you all have a great evening and I'll see you all next week at the same time happy Easter everyone bye